name is Dave and this is Micro Siding, my unskilled lab. Today we're going to do uh, the last little bit of structures, uh, structure that's going to go in the, the mine. Uh, I had always wanted to put in an electrical substation. Um, I uh, found some uh, files on uh, uh, Art Station. Uh, there's a gentleman there who, who makes all sorts of different uh, sort of industrial uh, equipment and bits and bobs and pieces and things. And he had one that, uh, that had all of the different kinds of uh, transformers and stuff that's inside a, a substation. So I've, I've gone ahead and uh, done some work already. I'm just going to move this over here. So I, I have a base already made for this. I, I, I'm starting to work on, on smaller things. And on the smaller things, I build a base for them and then drop it in and then put the landscape around that, that base. It's easier uh, than trying to do it on the layout sometimes with the, with the buildings in the way. So what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, put the pieces in place and we're going to put a chain link fence around it and, uh, and then after that we'll uh, take some time, maybe not this week but next week, and weather it and uh, Put some cables and wires and stuff in there to attaching things to things. So here we go. Should, this should be a short video. So I'm going to switch to uh, camera seven. There we go. So there's the base already made. Uh, if you've watched anything on the uh, on the quarry and the making of the quarry and how I uh, I got the rock face to look like rock face and the gravel to look like gravel, it is all of it is just grout. Uh, I cover the uh, the surface with uh, a basing glue of 50% uh, uh, glue and 50% water, a couple of drops of soap in there, and then I lay down the uh, the grout, and then I spray it with a uh, a sprayer. Now this is a neat sprayer. If you can ever get find one of these, this sprays in both directions. You pull the trigger and it sprays and as the trigger goes back it also sprays so it makes it and it's a very very fine mist it really works well for for uh, for doing ground cover so anyway let's get at this here so I've got some Eileen's tacky glue here and I've got my large my large transformer and I'm just going to put the glue on the on the bottom side here I was going to use um, Super glue to glue these down, but I think the Eileen's tacky glue is going to be a better a better fit for the because of the the roughness of the ground cover. So there's the first first transformer. And now we've got three smaller ones, and then three of another kind, and one little thing I have no idea what it is, but it came with the package and we're going to use it. So again, it's a glue. Stick it on the bottom here. Now I think this uh, this particular file cost me might have cost eight dollars total, and uh, there were four of these large form transformers, eight of the smaller ones that I'm putting on now, and eight of another another one that I'm going to put on in a second here. Um, so. You do get quite a bit of mo mo uh, models for what you pay. Now I know that uh, Woodland Scenics also makes a substation, so if you prefer just to build a substation, I'm not sure if it's in N scale. I think it's in N scale and HO. So you could. Uh, just go to the Woodland Scenic site and uh, or Walter site and uh, and purchase the model yourself. Now here here are, here are the last little ones that I'm going to put on for today. So these go here like this. This. Got this one here. 
Now there are other ones uh, that I haven't painted yet. There's this little thing. And or, oh, and these little things, these little Billy uh, Transformers. I want to uh, put all of this bigger stuff in place first. And then see what kind of space I've got left after I put the fence around it. So uh, we've got one, one more here, and I'm just going to dab this one right in the glue. And I've already put it down here once and made a little hole for it to fit. There we go. So you can see it's pretty well looks like a substation. This one might be oversized, but uh, it's, my, it's my railroad and I'm going to build it anyway. I want to. Anyway, so here we have this done now. So the next step is to put a chain link fence around the outside, the barbed wire on the top of the chain link fence. So uh, I've, done, I've shown you this before. Um, because uh, on another another part of the layout, I put in a uh, chain link fence, and, and uh, uh, I talked about how I got I get it from from England. Uh, I'll put a link in the uh, in the show more tab uh, for where you can get it. Uh, it's reasonably priced, and he's very good about shipping. So what I've got here is now I've got I pre-cut these and pre-folded them to where they need to be. So you can see that's what it's going to look like with the fence around it. So there's a six foot chain link fence and so that doesn't really make some of this stuff out of scale because a, a lot of these these transformers are huge things and uh, it, uh, it just makes sense. So here we go. So I'm going to take some uh, super glue I'm going to get another one of my tiny micro brushes, bought these things from Amazon, 200 of them I think for their cheap price. So now I'm just going to stick my, uh, stick down in here, stick it in here. I'm going to put glue on the, on the uprights of the fence. I'm just going to take my glasses off. I need them to see far and not close. <coughs> now there are days where I wish I didn't do, do it on scale, and this is one of them. This fence is tiny, tiny, tiny. against it and put a weight against it here and let that set up hear a little bit of clattering going on. We have a guest in our house today, uh, a big German Shepherd, who really needs his nails clipped. Uh, one of Lynn's friends comes over and when she does she brings her dog and that's uh, that stormy you're hearing, if you hear it at all. I, I know it's, I can hear it. But, uh, so, now, this, this fence, this fence post. So this isn't going to be a long video, it doesn't need to be a long video, just to 
show you well, how I do this. Now doing something like this fence is why I built smaller uh, smaller structures on uh, on a base and then put them in place because the uh, come on, don't stick to my fingers. Right, I'll just remove those weights. Switch over to medium. It's medium on my uh, silicone mat because uh, if you don't already know, nothing sticks to silicone, including <laughs> including uh, Okay, so let's just we'll just back this up a bit here so you can see it. Uh, where was? Oh yeah, we're still there. Okay, glasses back on so we can see my monitor. So now we have a partially completed transformer station, or electrical substation. And we see uh, something has come free over here. Be very gentle with this. Uh, stick that there like that. You have to be very, very gentle with the uh, with the chain link fence because uh, it's easy to deform it, and it does have very fine, fine, fine um, barbed wire across the top of the of the chain link fence. It's got some gates in it which you can have open, but uh, I know full well that the gates on one of these substations wouldn't be open unless there was a big hydro, hydro truck sitting there and they were doing some work because <laughs> they don't leave it open to the public. So I've, I, I'm going to dig up some uh, some warning signs like no trespassing and stuff and put them on the fence. I'm going to run wires from some of these to each other. And I think I'm going to put it in... I'll put in one of these and one of these over here. I might. In fact, I think I will. But uh, they are not painted. They need to be uh, spray painted and then, uh, and then I can uh, I can put them in because I, I can match the color. So. As I said, this was not going to be a long video, and next week we'll run the wiring and I'll show you what to do. I'll also give you a shot of, I did on the, uh, on the layout in the Domtar uh, uh, plant, there is a, a, a substation as well, but that's a kit bash and uh, a 3D print and, uh, and a, a model, and I think it's a, f is it Faller? Anyway, it, it's a it's a nice little little kit. It very detailed. Comes with lots of, of the of the wiring and the cabling and stuff. So, uh, I'm going to let this sit for to, uh, for the rest of the day and let, let this do set up really good. I'm going to go over and paint some of these. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do. I'm just going to. Can you? Oh, where are we? Okay, let's go to six. Let's just go to six for a second here. So, this is all of the different pieces. that came in this one file from this gentleman on uh, on our art station. I'll dig up his um, 
art, the art station channel that he has, and you can go and look. These, uh, lots of these, uh, lots of these uh, uh, websites like Art Station, Cults, uh, and uh, CG Trader. Some of the models can be very, very expensive, uh, upwards of one hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars just for a single model. Now you have it forever, and you could. But if you only need to make one or two of them, that's still a very expensive model. But this guy on cults is very reasonable. I, I think s between six and ten dollars for a file, and uh, you can, you know, make as many as you want and do whatever you want with them. So anyway, well, I want to thank you for watching today. Uh, this is uh, episode 101, so we're starting on our second hundred, uh, and uh, we'll see how it goes from here. Uh, I haven't finished the uh, cement plant. There's still some of the model that needs to be built, and I need to get once it's built. I'm going to uh, set up uh, cameras on the layout so that you can see me. Uh, put it in place and uh, do the ground cover and all of the stuff that needs to be done with it. I want to uh, I want to find some files uh, that are uh, cement trucks that I could print and um, have them on on the on the on the layout at the at the uh, concrete plant. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching today. Like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing is free, and if you ring the bell. Uh, It'll notify you when I do my next uh, next video. So as always, uh, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and uh, remember it's your railroad and you can build it any way you want. And I'll see you again next week. Thank you. Bye.